Hello everyone and uh, uh, welcome once again uh, here on my channel. So in this video you will see how we can uh, install Oracle WebLogic Server 14C from a generic installer on uh, Windows 10 by using JDK 11. So I hope uh, you guys are enjoying my content. So let's get started. Uh, here you can see I have uh, JDK 11.0.5 uh, Windows X64 bit file here. Uh, I will first uh, unzip this file or extract this file in my local disk. okay it's extracted here you can see uh, my file I just rename it as uh, JDK-11 now if, uh, if I go back to downloads Here I can uh, show you uh, one more thing that I have uh, created uh, two directories which is uh, WebLogic 14C software and uh, uh, WebLogic 14C uh, where we can uh, save our files. Okay, uh, here in downloads you can see FMW 14.1.1.0 uh, I will also extract that file and I will extract this file in a local folder in a, as you can see here I will uh, extract here so when I go to my 14c software you can see here the extracted file now uh, I will uh, open my CMD command prompt as uh, administrator so you also uh, open the CMD as administrator okay this is my CMD uh, here I will first uh, check my Java version, JDK. So I just type Java hyphen version. Here you can see uh, I have a Java version which is uh, eleven point zero point fifteen. Now I just clear my terminal by typing ls l c l s. Now here I move to my local disk, and uh, here we will copy this path. Copy this path. and uh, here change directory as uh, the copied path now we are uh, in our uh, weblogic 14c software directory Uh, here is the command which is uh, java-jar fmw 14.1.1.0.0 wls light generic dot jar and uh, after that this uh, is our the environment and uh, oracle as oracle home and uh, uh, slash our directory
So uh, type uh, the same command in your command prompt. Uh, here, uh, here is our wizard of uh, Fibian uh, middleware. Here, here we will uh, do some configurations and uh, installations. So uh, just uh, follow my uh, steps. Uh, first step, I just uh, click uh, next and uh, I will also go with the uh, skip auto update next. Here we will uh, give the Oracle home path uh, which we created in our local disk. I just open it and uh, as you can see WebLogic uh, 14C uh, we will select this path as uh, Oracle home and uh, next. Okay, I will leave this uh, portion as a WebLogic server, which is uh, already selected uh, default. So just click on next. Here are some uh, prerequisites uh, check, uh, checking for a system or Java used batch the installer. Here you can see. Uh, all the updates click next uh, here we will uh, save the response file I will give uh, the name as uh, WL underscore 14c and uh, response and uh, now I am just clicking on install it will take uh, two or three minutes for installation so I, I have uh, as you can see our installation pro progress is 100% complete now I just uh, click next and uh, here we just click on finish now it's loading uh, for our conf uh, configuration wizard where we can uh, set uh, set our domain or other configurations so just follow my steps I will go with the create a new domain click next and uh, by default it's check on uh, basic weblogic server domain so leave as default and uh, click on next uh, here we will uh, add the administrator account uh, a name as uh, a default which is uh, weblogic and uh, provide or enter your password I just enter my password and uh, click next in domain mode I will leave as the development mode and uh, next here I will uh, check all the boxes in advanced configuration uh, as the administra administration server or node manager and uh, tautology uh, I will ok with the uh, this listen port which is uh, 7001 
okay node manager type is uh, uh, per domain default location and uh, I will just uh, give the uh, node manager uh, credentials type your password or username give the username as you want as you wish just go to next step and uh, uh, manage server I will create uh, two managed servers as uh, ms01 and the uh, second one is uh, ms02 as uh, in uh, this section of uh, clusters uh, I am uh, not uh, talking uh, on uh, this section today so I just move to next section I will also leave this section because uh, today I uh, our topic is not on uh, these two uh, settings here in machine section I will create a new machine and give it the machine name as uh, machine 01 but you can name as uh, you want so uh, here we uh, assign the server to machine and uh, I am assigning uh, my both servers okay create click on create it will also take a few minutes okay the configuration process is 100% complete now just move uh, to next step and here uh, check this box which is start admin server and clicks finish Uh, here uh, you can see it's uh, checking for our system okay now uh, I just open my uh, tab uh, and uh, you can open this tab in uh, Firefox or Google I just uh, type my local host which is uh, 7001 as I uh, show you before and uh, I will open it as a console okay uh, as you can see uh, we have successfully install our web server for a login uh, provide your uh, username or password which you was uh, created okay as uh, you can see we have uh, here in uh, our web logic server dashboard if you uh, click on uh, environment you can see all the settings which we have uh, done I will check my servers and uh, the uh, admin server is uh, running okay 
with the port 7001 so uh, this is it uh, for this video hope you enjoy uh, this video and uh, I request uh, that uh, subscribe my channel for uh, new updates about Oracle and uh, other softwares for uh, and pr press the bell icon for never miss uh, any update uh, thank you once again